Dowager and Shrax, if they arrived at Glenwood Archer. The Dowager just radioed that Shirley Clinton, with the help of Grand Farrell, got the generator for the Kitley submarine engine. Well, how did that happen? Farrell and the girl went by automobile. Dowager and Shrax went by plane. There was a shooting scrap at Fletcher's. Farrell delayed them while Shirley Clinton picked up the generator from a locker at the bus station. Where are Dowager and Shrax now? Shirley took the bus out of Glenwood. They're trying to overtake it in their plane. Find out where he takes us through our friend here. Where's the bus driver? In the bus, his leg is broken. Well, we'll stop the first car that comes along, take him into town with us. This man, Shrack, has been questioned for hours without any results, Mr. Castleton. Well, what's the possibility of finally breaking him down? Not very good, but we'll put him behind bars for a long stretch. Well, that won't help us get the parts of the Kittredge engine that the mysterious Mr. M has, or those other parts that you have it located. Captain Blair and I realize that. You both must remember that an invention which permits submarines to be built as large as ocean liners and capable of traveling at 30 or more knots an hour can be put to dangerous uses in the wrong hands. We do. And as soon as I finish talking to you, we're going to follow up on one lead we have. Well, can you tell me what it is? Yes, Weatherby, the Waldron lawyer. The clue we got to Fletcher's generator came from the files of the Waldron Estate. Weatherby was the only one besides ourselves who knew about it. That sounds promising. Good luck, Grant. You won't have any trouble finding Weatherby, Captain. You're talking to Shrek. I received a note with a thousand dollar bill as a retainer to hand to Weatherby. The note wasn't signed, so I came to see you in order to get the man's address and return the money. You don't have to cover up with me, Weatherby. I know Mr. M just as well as you do. Please, Shrek, I don't want to hear about him or anybody else. What do you mean? I'll leave the thousand dollars with the officer at the desk. Please see that it's returned to the person who sent it to me. You can't get away with this. That remains to be seen. Turnkey. Penny? Captain Blair, I'd like to see you before you leave the building, Mr. Weatherby. Thanks. I was going to drop in on him anyway. You know what's good for you, Weatherby? You'll keep your trap shut. Why don't you take some of your own advice, Shrek? Good afternoon. How are you? Hello, good day, Mr. Weatherby. Mr. Weatherby. 
I understand you wish to see me, Captain. Yes, Mr. Weatherby. Ethics, of course, prohibit discussing your client's affairs with us, but there's one question I'd like to ask you about Shrike. If I can answer it, I will, Mr. Farrell. Thank you. We found a lead to Glenwood. That's where Shrek was arrested, among some papers you had concerning the Waldron estate. That's right. Did you mention that to anyone? Oh, I see what you mean. No, I didn't. Mysterious Mr. M must be clairvoyant. Well, you mean he knew about Fletcher and Kittridge's generator? Knew about it. He got it. Well, just to keep the record straight, I refuse to represent Shrek in spite of his threats about what Mr. M would do to me. Who arranged for you to defend Shrek? I received an anonymous note. The enclosed thousand dollar bill is a retainer to represent William Shrek. Please contact him at once at the city jail. The money is now with the officer at the desk downstairs to be returned when called. Strange that among all the lawyers in the city, you were the one selected, Mr. Weatherby. Coincidence, nothing else. Well, I admire the stand you've taken, but you've certainly placed yourself in a dangerous position. Some other attorney will be engaged, and that'll be the end of it as far as I'm concerned. If not, will you notify us immediately? Quite certainly. Uh, anything else you want to try? No, I guess not. Sorry to have troubled you. Oh, no trouble at all. Well, good day. <clears throat> Weatherby, eh? Have him up on the carpet? Sort of. Judging from M's past performance, he won't take Weatherby's refusal to defend Shrike lightly. Want me to have someone tail Weatherby? No, Kirby and I'll do that. I'm not at all convinced he's in the clear. Good idea. Will someone let me in on this? I'll tell you what happened on the way. Keep him inside, Kirby, but don't get too close. Your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road, Weatherby, and you'll be all right. I said keep your eyes on the road. Who are you and what do you want? My name wouldn't mean a thing to you, but Mr. M would like some information. Mr. M? About Shrek? Yeah. What do you have to say? I didn't let him do any talking. Why not? You have to rig a story between you to get him out. I'm not having anything to do with him. We're going back to town. Not while I'm driving, we're not. Pull out this side or I'll shoot. Go ahead and shoot. You'll die with me. Well, if it's going faster, catch him. I just shot a man. He's back there. Did you know him? I never saw him until he popped up behind me. He said he worked for Mr. M. I guess I was excited. That's why I didn't stop. You were lucky this time. I made a mistake saying I didn't need police protection. I'll ride with Weatherby. You radio Blair to have guards sent out to Weatherby's house. We'll make it so tough Mr. M won't be able to get within miles of you. Jerry. Get the general? Yes, but the police got track. Where are they holding him? Don is just trying to find out. Probably at the city jail. And he's liable to do some talking if we don't get him out, Anthony. We'll take care of track. How? Don't forget, we have a detective lieutenant completely under our control. Kirby Walsh. Right. As long as he has hypocrisy in his system, he'll obey our orders. That chemical you picked up in Africa certainly has its uses. Combined with the electronic ear, it makes Walsh the perfect robot. I'll call him on the microwave beam. Has this bag been out of your sight since you got it from Donager? No. I don't understand. What's that? For Anthony Walden. The Kittridge generator is in my hands. 
All suspicion has been removed from Cornelia Waldron's attorney, Weatherby. I will use him in getting Schrack out of jail. Give Kirby Walsh orders to notify Schrack. Further instructions later, mysterious Mr. M. Mr. M must be a ghost. Maybe. He wasn't so clever this time. Clever enough to take the generator from under our noses. He made a mistake in sending that note in his own handwriting. Have the writing compared with everyone we know. The man's uncanny. He knew what we would try to do. The smartest people make mistakes. We made one in letting him find out what we were doing. The time will come when he'll make one. In the meantime, do we have to do as he says? We'd be foolish not to. With a fortune involved in the Kittridge submarine engine. Archer, call Kirby Walsh in the microwave beam. that. Tell Shrack he will be helped to escape by you and Weatherby. Grant Farrell or Captain Blair, please. This is Farrell speaking. This is Weatherby. I've received a death threat from the mysterious Mr. M. Oh, my phone? No, a note. It burst into flames after I'd read it. Uh -huh. Was Shrack mentioned in it? Yes, I'm to wait here until Shrack is brought to me. If that isn't done by midnight, M said I would die. Police guard still around your house. I think so. Well, more men will be sent out. Just obey M's orders, and rest assured nothing will happen to you. What do you make of that, Grant? Evidently some kind of a plan to free Shrek. I don't know how this record got into my office, Captain, but it's from the mysterious Mr. M. Captain Blair, this is a very important record. Play it immediately. The mysterious Mr. M. Pure and simple. I don't know. The threats he's made previously have been carried out. You mean you're going to take Shrek to Weatherby's? Under heavy guard. And if Mr. M makes his play, we'll be in a position to trump his lead. I'm phoning Weatherby that you and Kirby are going to take Shrek to his place right away. Have the other guards arrived, Ropey? Yes, sir. I can't imagine how nervous and upset I've been since receiving M's threat. What can he hope to accomplish by bringing Shrack here? His release. You're not worried, are you, boy? With all the guards posted around, M will never dare to come here. The police will tell you they haven't been able to stop him yet. This time we will. I doubt it. You got a match? Here's a light. Oh. Don't move, Shrack. Watch him, Kirby. Grant. Dark from that cigarette lighter. Hit him in the neck. I'll phone for an ambulance. How is he, Grant? That's hard to tell. He doesn't seem any worse than when he was first hit with a dart. Someone must have switched this lighter with one Weatherby had. You can't blame that on me. All right, get him up, Farrell. You two watch. Climb on the stretcher, Shrek. They're gonna pass us through the police, Kirby. You're staying here, Farrell. Turn around.
guards. Weatherby. Tell the guards to stop anybody they see on the plate. Right. Nice work, Kirby. I'll get back in there to Farrell and see that he doesn't follow me. Okay. Kirby, pull out of the ambulance! Stay where you are, Grant. Kirby, what's the matter with you? Nothing. Take another step, I'll let you have it. 